All right, we are back on Heroes World Mission, and after talking to you guys about making a team that makes the enemy team's charge impact go crazy, this is the deck I came up with. Yes, yes, I already know. You don't even have to say it. I already know. This doesn't look at all like what you guys probably expected to look. Some of it I'm sure you guys were expecting. Like we have Mai here who's going to make their CI go crazy. We got go Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta here who because Cell is going to knock down all the damage we take on the first turn. He's going to triple his power and his power level. I did hear you on that one. And then we have this guy. I don't know his freaking name. Is it? Catapacia? Is that how you say his name? Until I am told how to say his name, I'm going to be coming up with all kinds of random names for him. So, I heard you on him as well. So this is the team I came up with. I'll explain why I have the Goku Blue, the Vegeta Blue, and the Fu there. I always have Cell. I'm always, always, always going to have Cell. So you guys probably saw that one coming. So here was my plan when I put this whole deck together. First turn, we're going to pop Cell out there, obviously. And because Cattle Pistachio is here, as a supporter, I, I know, I heard you, man. You were like, dude, check out Cattle Pistachio. He's going to be... <laughs> His name, man. You were like, he's a badass when it comes to raising their CI speed. So I was looking at him, and I was like, oh... He is a badass when it comes to raising his their CI speed. He does the exact same thing that Mai does. He greatly increases the entire enemy team's CI speed. Cool. He can only do it when he's a supporter, though. That's perfect, because every single one of them is a supporter when Cell goes out. So as a supporter, he's going to raise our CI speed. I'm not worried about the damage that Cell takes. But the, the damage that Cell gives, that's going to be amazing. If their CI speed is over here going crazy, then Cell can actually manage to win his attack and do that extra damage, especially if he gets the additional. That's freaking perfect. Then because Cell's not going to take any damage, now we got Gogeta over here. He's going to triple his power and his power level, all because Cell didn't take no damage in the first turn. Then, after the first turn, immediately after the first turn, Fu is going to add another 20,000 power to two random people. That's even more power. Everybody's going to hit even harder because of that. That's why I picked Fu. I figured if we're going to have Cell out there and he's not going to take no damage for the first turn, we might as well get that free power increase. Honestly, to be 100% truthful, I've said this in a couple videos, I've been wanting to use this Fu for a very long time and I never could find an excuse to use him and I just came up with a random excuse to use him. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest, I've been wanting to use him for ages and this seems like a really good time to make up an excuse to use him. Now this Goku Blue right here, actually you know what, we've been talking a little bit too long. Let's just jump into a match, it's not going to be an online match, it won't be an online match, not this time, I want to test it first. Let's jump into a match and then we'll talk about the rest. So let me just say right off the bat that the Vegeta Blue that I have, I kind of just randomly put him in there because I just wanted to try him out. The thing about him was, so, so you guys were telling me about the other Vegeta Blue who I have used before. This Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and the Vegeta Blue that raises everybody's power level by 1500 for every attacker that you have. I, I've used both of them before. I have videos of me using them. I love these two, especially when they're together. But I decided to switch out Vegeta Blue for this Vegeta because I just wanted to try him out. And the reason being is because he goes through the opponent's guard and damage reduction and I was just thinking what if we come across a team who's a defense team I feel like a defense team would wreck this team at least the way it is now so I was like I want to try this Vegeta because not only does he go through their guard and their damage reduction but after his attack phase he can do the sparking mode he'll transform and he'll do critical damage now I suck at the spark. Isn't the sparking mode when they do that thing that's kind of like a spirit bomb and then you have to do the little tug of war thing? I suck at that thing. So I'm, I'm, I really honestly have no plans on keeping this Vegeta. I just wanted to try him out. More than likely, I'm going to put the other Vegeta, the one that raised everybody's power level. I kind of didn't want to use him because he has counter attack and I feel like this team needs to win on the second turn. I feel like it does. Because if we get attacked... We might not survive. We have no defense. We have low HP. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? Like, do we, should we, do we need to add some kind of defense to this team just in case we don't beat them on the second turn and then they retaliate on us? But then again, if we stun, like, half the team... Oh, you know what I wasn't paying attention to? Their CI speed was going hella fast, wasn't it? Because of Keto Peso over there. I gotta see this. And I lost the Dragon Ball. I wasn't paying attention at all. I was just clicking buttons. Mmm... Yeah, get that Dragon Ball back. Give me my Dragon Ball back. Their stuff was moving pretty quick. I mean, I was watching, but I wasn't really, like, paying attention, you know what I mean? Like, 
their stuff was moving pretty quick. Even the ones, you know, Trunks and Goten who aren't supposed to be moving that fast, their crap was going pretty quick. Alright, so we're going to do the 10,000 module. I probably don't even need it, but this is what we're going to use when we go online. So I'm going to go ahead and do exactly what it is we're going to do when we go online. So Gogeta tripled his power, his power level. Fu added an extra 20,000 to two random people's power. I think this is going to be pretty nice. This Goku, I think, is going to be really freaking nice. He's about to knock all their stamina down to nothing. Unfortunately, though, they can't be stunned, I just realized. So it's not even going to matter that Goku knocks their stamina down to nothing, but I'm not expecting too many people. Probably one out of every 50 battles, somebody's going to do the whole, you can't stun none of my people. Actually, no, because Tila Tequila, who, hey, hey, wait, wait, get, get, get back, fool, what are you doing? <laughs> my controller's messed up. You notice how whoever I was highlighting, they kept moving and stuff? Man. Oh, there's Mai. Mai is, you know, she's actually pretty badass. I didn't like her in Dragon Ball. I honestly didn't like her at all in Dragon Ball. She was, you know, she was a villain. She was mean. She was kind of lame. <laughs> but now here she is. She's cool. She's badass now. Bam, we beat him. We didn't even have to go too high. So we didn't have to go, like, all in. So we could have saved some stamina. But if we use that Vegeta Blue who raises the power level, we probably only have to use, like, one bar of stamina. And we'll easily beat 10,000. That's even better. Cause then we can save all of our stamina. So Goku Blue just knocked all their stamina down to one. That's beautiful. It doesn't matter now. Let's see how fast our CI speed. Oh my goodness. That's maximum. That's got to be maximum speed. We got Mai bringing their speed up. And then we got um, Cattle Persian over here. He was bringing their speed up. That was nice. Oh my gosh. Imagine that crap online. People are going to be like, what the is this crap? Let me see this. Let me see this. Ooh, I like it. I like it. And we still lost. <laughs> I got to focus on the CI speed. Oh, yeah, let's focus. I got to get this one. Oh, I like it. I like it. I like how fast that crap is moving. That crap is crazy fast. That's got to be maximum speed. Boom, that's instantly stunned right there. If, the, if we were online and that was somebody who didn't have the stun protection, man. All right, Foo, go ahead and do your draw thing. You know, it just hit me that he speaks English. He says bye-bye. <laughs> or, or is that like a universal thing when you say bye? Okay, let's get Vegeta up here because, you know, we want two heroes. Let's do this. So what I like about that Goku Blue is that after he does his God Meteor, and if we stun any of them, or if any of them have no stamina, and your opponent leaves them in the support area in the next round, they take 2,000 damage for every person in the support area. All right, so this battle is coming to a close. So what do you guys think? What do you think of this team? What do we need to keep and what do we need to change? I'm assuming for sure, for sure, we're going to keep Mai and Kero Poco Loco because we wanted to make their charge impact speed go crazy. And my goodness, that crap was going crazy. And then I'm, for sure, I'm going to keep Xenocell no matter what. And because Xenocell is there, Gogeta is going to power up immensely thanks to him. Look at Mai looking all badass. So I guess we're going to keep Mai. We're going to keep Kato Potato and Cell and Gogeta. I'm assuming you guys want me to take out this Vegeta <laughs> for Vegeta Blue that raises everybody's power level by 1500. Then, what about that Goku Blue? How do you guys feel about Goku Blue, and how do you feel about Fu? What would you guys do with them? Would you keep them, or would you take them out? If you do take them out, what would you put in their place? Please let me know, then I will make the changes, then we will take this team online and see how they do. So please, like it if you like, and you should subscribe if you want more, and join me in the next one. Alright, y'all. I'm out.